Thank you very much, Mr. Rajesh Jajurikar, for talking to Money Control. Mr. Rajesh Jajurikar, of course, leads the uh, auto and tractor business for M&M. He's the executive director of the Mahindra and Mahindra Group. Thank you. Welcome to Davos. Welcome to Money Control. Uh, we caught you inside the India Lounge. What's top of mind for India CEOs at Davos when you know their global counterparts are worried about multiple crises converging together? Uh, you know, I, I think at least from our standpoint, we see this as an opportunity uh, to take a global leadership. Uh, for us, Davos enables us to collect, connect with the many tech leaders, uh, people who bring in new thinking. So we're really here to think of what we need to do to drive growth. Uh, because like you know, India is still a strong growth story. Right. And um, you know, 2022 in a sense was a banner year for you in terms of uh, how you performed on the auto side, tractor side. Uh, what can we expect in 2023? Can we hope for a repeat of 2022? Because uh, you know, there is an air of caution. People are cutting down on marketing spends, at least if I look at, you know, the new economy businesses. Uh, but tell us about what you're seeing on the ground. We're not in a mindset of cutting back on marketing or anything at this stage. Uh, we have some really had some really good launches. We have the 400 launch, uh, which is the electric. We just announced the prices today. I don't really get a chance to see them sitting no, here I in have, Davos. Yeah, so we're actually launching 400. We'll start uh, orders uh, on the 26th of Jan and uh, start deliveries by March. And uh, we have a 34.4 kilowatt hour version of that, which is going to be priced at 15.99. And uh, for 5,000, first 5,000 bookings, that's delivery start in the festival season. And then a, a 40 kilowatt hour, one which will start deliveries for in March, that's priced at 18.99. So they're both very good prices and hopefully we'll excite the market. So that's new for us, but uh, we have a lot to build on out of our current successful launches, which is the Thar. Uh, we'll just launch the rear wheel drive, which has got a very good response. And then... Uh, the 700 Scorpio N and uh, the Bolero Neo 300. So, yeah. so, you know, the, I think the entire portfolio is doing well. I won't look at percentage repeat uh, because that was on a low base and all the new products came in. Uh, but we are optimistic about a strong momentum uh, for our SUV business. Uh, tractors have seen a good year, better than what we had thought. And uh, uh, we'll wait and watch on what the outlook for tractor demand is normally it's too early to call out. Uh, we wait for some other indicators like monsoons and uh, government spending indications and so on before really forming a view on next year's growth. Right. Uh, in fact, I was just uh, going to ask you that, you know, what's your visibility as far as rural demand is concerned? Because if you look at uh, the RBI, they've taken a series of steps which is expected uh, to ease inflation, you know, uh, in the first half of 2023. So can you give us a sense of how you see rural demand uh, shaping up this year? Yeah, so inflation has played, uh, especially in FMCG kind of industries, uh, has impacted rural demand. Uh, uh, it hasn't so much in the tractor side where we've seen uh, double digit growths. Uh, we'll have to wait and watch, like I said, on what happens on the lower end of consumption, which is, uh, you know, the daily consumption good, which impacts FMCG. Uh, on the tractor side, a lot will depend on what's happening to the monsoon and so on. So uh, we'll wait, wait and watch a little bit on rural demand. I, I guess it's too early to call. Right. You mentioned the new launch today. So tell us about your own plans as far as the uh, EV space is concerned? How do you see it panning out? What kind of a role do you expect m and to play in this segment? Because everybody, you know, there is clearly a lot of excitement about moving away from IC to EV. What kind of role can m and So two key segments we're playing in at the moment. One is uh, the electric three-wheelers where uh, we're seeing a very good electric penetration uh, compared to the ICE uh, three-wheelers and that's crossed 10%. Uh, we are very strong there. We have a 60, 67, 68% market share uh, with our products like Trio. On the SUV side, uh, it's the penetration of electric is very low. It's in the region of 1% to 2% in the B and C segments. And uh, we uh, uh, are launching new products there, one which I just told you about, and then the Bon Electric portfolio, which will come towards the end of 24 uh, and getting into 25. So three to five products, uh, and we hope that 20 to 30 percent of our portfolio in 2027 will be electric. Right. What can we look forward to from M&M in 2023 when it comes to launches, investments, capex, and so on? Uh, capex story we've already spoken about, so no immediate change right now. 
and a lot of it is going towards creating our electric portfolio so no change you know we've announced the creation of a new electric uh, suv company where we have bii as uh, the first investor that got valued at 9 billion dollars uh, with the initial 250 million dollars coming from bii uh, so that's that's one of the key areas uh, and uh, we uh, we we are really optimistic about creating a strong electric portfolio right we just have two weeks to go for the budget yeah, so like, your one big uh, you know wish list or one big reform that you would like to see um, in the last budget before the election um, really not focusing on uh, subsidies and incentives at at this point of time i think creating positive sentiment in the economy driving consumption that should be the key priority and i think the government is on track to do that and as you said you know if they manage to keep rural spends correct Going uh, yeah, so I think we, the important thing through the budget is driving consumption, hmm. and uh, you know if the economy gets into a back into consumption or high consumption mode, it's been good in the last two three years. Uh, if that momentum sustains, then India will continue its strong growth story. On that note, thank you very much for talking to us. Nice.